Hey everyone, you ready for some film? It's time to break down the Vikings' first round draft pick. Cornerback Mike Hughes, who better to do it than Vikings radio analyst and friend of VEN, Pete Bursich, who's excited about this corner that Mike Zimmer now has under his wing, aren't you? Yeah, and I think just by watching the few plays we'll have, we'll, we'll, we'll see what they liked about him, what he needs to work on a little bit at this level. But the things that are there, the physicality and the effort, those are the two main things that you see on film that this kid could do. And by the way, he can run and cover down the field, yeah. and he can catch. So not a lot of corners are catch, you know, good at catching. A lot of times yeah. they're just wide receivers who can't catch right. in high school, and they're made corners. But Mike Hughes has a lot of talents to bring to the table. All right, Vikings fans like physicality, so show us a physical corner. Well, we all, you know, we all remember Antoine Winfield. He's yeah. probably the most physical corner that we've ever seen. But in, in this case. You're going to see Mike Hughes down here in space, and you know the RPO and how the colleges like to run. They like to block the outside receiver and then roll this guy out. It's, it turns everything into a long handoff. Get your wide receiver, your athletes in space with the football. So in this case, it's a, it's a fake run, quick throw outside, and you see Mike Hughes here on the bottom, and you'll see he doesn't backpedal. He's kind of opening and turning and shuffling. He's not going to be able to do that at, at the next level. Mm -hmm. So the backpedal, the footwork, those are things that he's going to have to learn. But what he can do that you can't teach is this. He comes up, he's being blocked by a wide receiver, and he basically takes that right arm, yeah. puts it right in the throat, pancakes the guy, comes off, makes a big hit, and you see the running back's not getting up right. very quickly. So Blocked exactly. is a loose term there. Exactly. Yeah. Physicality on the outside, you're going to have a hard time blocking this guy one-on-one -on -one in space. Here he is again, yeah. down here on the outside. Similar type formation with two wide receivers. He shuffles back, he reads run, watch the change of direction. He plants that foot right about on the 40-yard line, and then he closes. So this ball is caught about five yards down the field oh. and is immediately tackled. So there's no run after the catch on this play. That's mm -hmm. what the offense is hoping, that this receiver can catch this football, turn it up the field and get a few extra yards. Yeah. But you're seeing that, head down, Hits, tackles the legs, wraps up, and finish the play. So, again, good fundamental technique. Mm -hmm. Now, put him in the box. You see him in this case right here. He's lined up, in this case, like a linebacker mm -hmm. just on the outside. So they run into that because they see a corner in support, pull the guard. He's still able to step up, avoid the tackle, avoid the block, and then make yeah. the tackle. So you're going to get a better view here. You have, a, what, about a 190-pound, 200-pound defensive back going up against a big pulling guard you got to use your quickness, and he does that. Gets that shoulder, comes back underneath, like yeah. we've seen Antoine Winfield do a million times, and then able to just create a pile. And that's a mindset, too, right, for a corner to be willing to stick his nose in there. Oh, absolutely. These yeah. guys, you know, corners, like you say, they get paid to cover. They don't yeah. get paid to tackle. So yeah. a lot of times these guys just don't want to stick their nose in there, but this kid here is absolutely aggressive. Press, backpedal, he's waiting for the receiver to break, puts an arm on him. No problem with the speed one-on-one -on -one down the field. And we call that in the day, call it a long foul ball. Yeah. So he's not getting out run on the edges. We've seen what he can do tackling wise. Yeah. And a lot of times those good physical corners can't run. Well, this kid can absolutely run. I'll hear you say during game broadcast with PA that the corner was running the route for the receiver there. Is this sort of an illustration of that? Absolutely right. Yeah. And you can see him up here on top. Now he's a little bit more head up on the wide receiver. This is something a little bit more like we'll do here. You'll see our corners that are pressed, rolled up. They want to be physical with the wide receivers and if our defense does one thing it interrupts the timing of an offense by jamming guys not letting them get off the ball freely and he's already very very good at that and you're right you get you get this you get a receiver you push him outside and he's not he doesn't he still has time he's watch how long he keeps his hand on him because in college you can hold on sure. to him down, all the way down the field until the football is thrown in the nfl you have about 10 yards but He's still able to keep his hand on him, roll, turn the hips, and then push his body into the receiver. The key here, this quarterback wants to drop this football between the receiver and the sideline, but as you can see right he's here, got him pinned in he's there. got him pinned in the sideline. Yeah. So there's yeah. no way that this wide receiver is going to be able to catch this football. So right now he's done a great job, but he finishes the play and he turns himself into a receiver. Wow. In this case, you're like, yeah, he's running the route, getting by, and then makes a fabulous catch right there down on the one-yard line. Did Mike Hughes do it? Yes, he did. Oh, my Mike goodness. Hughes, over-the-shoulder catch. Would have been a great receiver on that play. He picks it off at the UCF three-yard line. The combination of all those things, the physicality, yeah. is able to move his feet, the jam, the toughness, and then be able to get down the field and then make a catch at the same time. Right, I know this play is on the ball. another yeah. reason why they like him. Lined up, one-on-one, -on -one, gets the guy to the outside, 
pushes the receiver almost out of bounds. Once he's out of bounds, he can't catch the football. But in this case, you watch. When this running back gets to Touchdown. here, he has nothing but open right. space in front of him. Right. All, you watch Mike Hughes over here. So this is a play away. This is a play yeah. that, you know, I was always told, and, and what I tell my guys is that hustle is when you run to the ball on a play you don't think you're going to make. And in this case, nobody here thinks that Mike Hughes is going to make this play. Look at and that. And you can see him outrunning his teammates <laughs> 30, 40 yards down the field, makes the tackle Saves at the five-yard line. Saves a touchdown. Yep. Exactly right. So now the offense, yeah, it's first and, first and goal from the five, but they're going to line up five more right. times. So that right. is an unbelievable hustle play. And I think with coaches, they know for sure that when you have a guy with this kind of talent but then shows that kind of toughness and then that kind of work ethic where yeah. he's chasing guys down the field, they know – He'll come in, yeah. he'll want to learn the system, he'll want to learn all about, he'll want to learn and all the little things that he's going to have to do to take it to that next level. So I think Mike Hughes is going to be an outstanding player. So some of those traits that you just showed us, toughness, a nose for the ball, and then hustling like that to save a touchdown, even if he doesn't get into the mix on defense early, that's a special teamer right there, right? It is. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. You talk about a gunner. I mean, yeah. he defines what you want out of a gunner, a guy who can run, a guy who's physical, a guy who has good ball skills. I mean, yeah. that's exactly it. So I expect an immediate impact, not only on the return game, like we know and we've seen his highlights, but to see him also covering kicks. He'll get himself in on defense soon, don't yeah. worry. I mean, like all these guys drafted in the first round, they all have the requisite height, weight, and speed. You just don't know what they have up here and you don't know what they have in here. And you watch this kid on film, he definitely has the heart for the game. All right, good news. There it is from Pete Bursich. Approves of the Vikings' first round pick. For more analysis of the Vikings' 2018 draft from Pete, Stay tuned to Vikings.com.